there are a lot of international professionals coming here. Um, from what time they become uh, a tax resident in Australia? What does that mean to become a tax resident? Yeah, so resident tax residency is quite con confusing. Some people think it means uh, immigration residency, which is different to tax residency. You can be a migrant, but you could still have tax residency, right? And vice versa. So um, what you have to see is when, you, when you're working in Australia, how long are you going to be there for, okay? If you're going to be working for more than six months, generally speaking, you are a tax resident and you get access to tax-free rates. Why is it important to be a tax resident? Because all tax residents in Australia get $18,000 tax-free. Whereas if you are a non-resident, then you pay tax on every single dollar that you earn in Australia. It is important to know also that if you are a tax resident, you have to declare worldwide income. So if you've come from Siberia and you've got a nice little rental property there that you're earning money on, when you become a tax resident in Australia, you will declare that rent under foreign income. You will also declare dividends that you have from overseas shares. You will also declare any bank interest that you make if you've got money parked in a Swiss account somewhere. So all those form part of one tax return, which comes back to your own tax return. So tax residents pay tax on worldwide income, whereas non-residents only pay tax on Australian sourced and derived income. So even if that means you're a non-resident and you've gone back to say France, but you have acquired a property here in Australia, you will still be filing an Australian tax return, okay? for just that property, okay? And what you do in France is your own thing. But over here, you have to pay tax or declare tax on that property's rent. And that's why it is very crucial to make the right decisions based around residency. So if you're leaving the country forever, you can convert from a resident to a non-resident. Let's say I have a property in Spain. Yes. And, you know, obviously in Spain, I'm declaring the rent or any income I'm deriving, will I double pay tax? Uh, no. tax? Good question. There are double tax agreements in place um, between Australia and many, many countries in the world. If there is a double tax agreement between these countries, let's say Spain, for instance, whatever tax you pay in Spain, you get as a credit over here. So let's say you pay 30% on that tax, uh, on that property over there. If the tax rate over here is 30%, you will not pay any additional tax. If the tax rate here is 40%, then you will pay a top up of 10%. So that's how it works. And of course, if you paid more tax overseas than in Australia, you're not gonna get the money back from Australia. It's pretty simple. You have to get the money back from wherever you paid tax.